July 13th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 2 Corinthians chapter 8 from the New Testament Now we make known to you, brothers and sisters, the grace of God given to the churches of Macedonia, that during a severe ordeal of suffering, their abundant joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in the wealth of their generosity. For I testify, they gave according to their means and beyond their means. They did so voluntarily, begging us with great earnestness for the blessing and fellowship of helping the saints. And they did this not just as we had hoped, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and to us by the will of God. Thus we urge Titus that just as he had previously begun this work, so also he should complete this act of kindness for you. But as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, and in all eagerness, and in the love from us that is in you, make sure that you excel in this act of kindness too. I am not saying this as a command, but I am testing the genuineness of your love by comparison with the eagerness of others. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that although he was rich, he became poor for your sakes, so that you by his poverty could become rich. So here is my opinion on this matter. It is to your advantage, since you made a good start last year, both in your giving and your desire to give, to finish what you started, so that just as you wanted to do it eagerly, you can also complete it according to your means. For if the eagerness is present, the gift itself is acceptable according to whatever one has, not according to what he does not have. For I do not say this, so there would be relief for others and suffering for you, but as a matter of equality, at the present time your abundance will meet their need, so that one day their abundance may also meet your need, and thus there may be equality, as it is written. The one who gathered much did not have too much, and the one who gathered little did not have too little. But thanks be to God who put in the heart of Titus the same devotion I have for you, because he not only accepted our request, but since he was very eager, he is coming to you of his own accord, and we are sending along with him the brother who is praised by all the churches for his work in spreading the gospel. In addition, this brother has also been chosen by the churches as our traveling companion as we administer this generous gift to the glory of the Lord himself and to show our readiness to help. We did this as a precaution so that no one should blame us in regard to this generous gift we are administering. For we are concerned about what is right not only before the Lord but also before men. And we are sending with them our brother whom we have tested many times and found eager in many matters, but who now is much more eager than ever because of the great confidence he has in you. If there is any question about Titus, he is my partner and fellow worker among you. If there is any question about our brothers, they are messengers of the churches, a glory to Christ. Therefore, show them openly before the churches the proof of your love and of our pride in you. God, there's there's so many important lessons in this small chapter in Second Corinthians about generosity of your heart and your spirit and the money that you give us as well as any other blessings. But there was one part in particular that just seemed to capture my attention where it says, and we are sending along with him the brother who is praised by all the churches for his work in spreading the gospel. In addition, this brother has also been chosen by the churches as our traveling companion, as we administer this generous gift to the glory of the Lord himself and to show our readiness to help. So who is this brother? <laughs> uh, it's kind of interesting because at least in this context, we don't know who he is. But I found myself as I read this and recorded it and studied it, I found myself wanting to be that person. And we are sending along with him the brother who is praised by all the churches for his work in spreading the gospel. God, that's what I want to do for you. That is what I want to be known for. I would be incredibly honored and blessed and humbled 
if I was the person who people knew was the one who told other people about you, God, whether they said it with praise for you, God, or whether they said it in disgust and frustration that somebody was just talking about God in the Bible again. Either way, <laughs> either way, I would be good to be that brother that doesn't even have a name in this, but is known by the churches for spreading the gospel. God, I love talking to people about you. I, I love when I get to share my faith, when I get to pray with people, uh, when I get to read your word to other people or help them understand it better. I, I just get so excited and, and um, overwhelmed, but overwhelmed in a good way. Almost like, you know, that excitement that happens at Christmas, <laughs> that overwhelm part. Yeah. God, I just, I just love so much. I don't want it to be about me. I want it to be about you. And so I love so much talking about you. And if other people knew me by your name and by your actions and by me reflecting your glory, that is everything I could possibly want in this world, God. And yet you keep blessing me with so much more and so much more. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.